How do you farm rogues since they changed the compound? Uh, honestly, it's a lot easier for both Yusek and Bear now since they changed it. Uh, it's the same route for both of them. I'm actually working on this new one that I think is better than my last one. I actually, I'll show you that right now. We'll go light us. Okay, this is the best one for the rogue route chat. Uh, I always double stim when I do rogue route. I use Meldon and SJ6 for like infinite running. You can use just Meldon or just SJ6. It's like up to you. Just shoot it like I'm bare. There's a spawn in front of me getting AGS like Marin spawn. Uh, all I do is I go up to this construction area. Kill the AGS rogue. Uh, this same route if you're USEC or a bear doesn't matter because if you're USEC now, if you get tagged and cursed uh, from killing a rogue, they remember you for like four or five raids. I run all the way up to this rock right here. And in between the rock and the truck, I'm gonna kill this gunner rogue. You can do this if you're bear as well. You just stand up, uh, shoot, and then crouch again. Hopping over this barricade, and I'm gonna stop at this first pipe and crouch. Look for this gunner rogue right here. If he's here, you kill him. If he's not here, you keep going. And then that's pretty much the opening to the route every single time. If you're marked, you can still do that route every single time. If you're bear, you can do it. There's no difference. I just don't like to, um, I don't like to switch it up as you said, because it only works for one raid anyway. Alright, we got rock spawn, so that's fun. Alright, it's so the same thing, we double stim here. Only difference with the rock spawn versus getting, like, the main spawns is that you just do the route slightly backwards. Avoid all the grass for the landmines over here, you just stay on the rocks and you're chilling. So what you do is you come down on this side. Now, one of the first things you're going to have to do is when you get to this red car, you want to kill this rogue that's directly in front of me. Because if you're a bear or if you're tagged as hostile as Usec, which I just always assume that I am, you want to go here, shoot this one on the head. If, you, either, if you're Usec or a bear, if you go past this car, I'll shoot you. I'll get off the gun and shoot you, so. Kill him. And then the far gunner is going to run down off the AGS tower. He's going to run down and go out the front, or he's going to, like, sit inside and be weird. What I do this way is you have the left-hand peak of this rogue, but it's okay. He goes to one of two spots. He's either going to sit right out front where he is right now. So, trying to get the head tap on him behind the thing. A little crouch up, sit down motion, like that. And check for the roof gunner. The roof gunner is here. Alt D to peek that. Now, I don't really ever loot the rogue up here. You can if you want to. The reason that I don't loot that rogue is because what will happen is you'll die to someone on the mountain if they're sniping up there. So, I don't like to get shot in the head for free, so I just ignore that. Armor repair kit gets spawned there. I always loot the tech rate and the armor repair kit. You can loot that if you want to. It's in the open, so I don't. And then this is Bitcoin spawn. No. Bitcoin spawn there, tech rate. Keep this for my daily. Keep this. Keep that. Huge. Alright, checking here for Bitcoin. There's no Bitcoin. I've got Iridium here. It's going to be Bitcoin as well. Like toolbox. I'm gonna pre-pop a mule just so like I can get through the route faster. But you don't have to. Uh, once I loot that, I'm always gonna go run over this way. As long as you kill this gunner, you're kinda just free to go run in this middle area and check for the Bitcoin slash roller slash vertex spawn in there, whatever it's gonna be. Uh, if you're getting shot at from the mountain when you do that, just don't stop to loot it. Just run by, obviously. Don't stop in the open. The reason that I do that run is the helicopter rogues aren't ever gonna shoot you if you're over there. The only thing that can shoot you is like the AGS gunner, but he's always gonna miss if you're over there. And the gunner that I shot on the roof already. So as long as those are dead, you're fine. And when you run on that metal, it's gonna make anyone on the mountain shoot at you, which is actually a good thing. Because if you don't run on the metal and they don't shoot at you, then you know there's probably not someone there. And what's gonna happen is if you go to loot this crate right here, and you don't know if someone's in the mountain, they're literally gonna just shoot you in the head. You're standing still. You're gonna just die. At least you're moving. And you have a chance to live versus a guy on the mountain. You're gonna be a free kill for him if you're standing here like this. So, when I get shot at, I assume I can loot that crate for free. I always do. And I loot this crate. He just got in my aggro and shoot at me. As long as I don't pass, like, this truck that way, I'm okay. He won't kill me. Uh, I checked the rock. No one, I don't see anyone on here. Now, rogues can be over at that black car over there. I kind of just, like, free run across. And once you get behind this hut, you're kind of chilling. Bitcoin in this crate. Free money. You can just crouch behind the crate and use your Alt D, Alt A peek to kill them. You can loot this key if you want to. This is USEC Rogue Stash Key. Now, I don't loot this every raid, but if I'm here and it looks like. If I don't hear a lot of shooting and it seems like I'm safe, I'll just kind of loot it. It's fine. 
Uh, all right. So once I loot all this, we want to make sure that like Rogues didn't kind of walk through this door. Sometimes they'll be like back where I'm looking right now, and they'll see me key the thing, and they'll kind of wait in this doorway. Make sure they're not here. And I'm gonna just like free look across, see if anything shoots at me. Nothing did. I'm gonna check this crate. We got euros in there. That could be a big one. Make sure checking that. Look for AGS gunner. I don't see him. The back gunner's not there either. I don't know where gunners are. There's one on this gun. I can see his like shoulder here. So it might be just like hiding down, or it might be hiding like on the roof. The rogues can spawn on the roof or the ground of the warehouse. It's connected now. So I always throw a grenade, see if they yell at me. I don't see any back here. They'd be like outside. I'm gonna run inside. They could be in here. My goal is to get behind this like cylinder, and I'm gonna use it to fight them because they're gonna either walk at me down this way, or they're gonna walk at me down on this side or up top. It gives me protection from all three angles. Get for bitcoins here. This is where you can get Tetrises, you can get GPUs, uh, random industrial things. We got a relay there, G phone there. Got a sewing kit, power cord. Nothing crazy, but it all adds up, you know, the more you can get. Uh, oh, LCD broken, LCD. The white dots. Make sure you're looking over here, you can get stuff up there. In this office, you can get decent loot, Tetrises. Um, I've seen Aces in here. I've seen Tetrises, uh, GPUs. Take all that. In this room, I've never seen any, like, Bitcoin spawns on any of these desks. Fill box is good. You can check that if you want to. I usually skip it, but... I check for rare spawns. I don't see anything in here, so I don't think there are any in this room. After I loot that, I can go down this way. Towards this toolbox. Get thermite spawns on this, like, stool over, or spool over here. And then you also have, like, tank battery spawn, industrial things right there. And then, obviously, down below here, you can get, like... GPUs, Tetris, industrial items. They're not super common to get GPUs, but they do exist, so it's worth looking over there. Now, this key is a rare one. It's called Operating Room Key. It's for the Broadcast Quest. If you have it, it's definitely worth keying, but that's up to you. There, you can get rare spawn here, as well as right there. And then, I believe there's a third one over on these coolers right there. A little med bag here. You can check it up. I don't see anything here. And then look around, just the body, okay. So a little bit of extra money that you can make per raid. It's not going to make or break the route, so don't worry about it. But if you do have it, it's definitely worth being. Now, same thing. Sometimes these rogues will, like, sit back here. And they'll just not make sound from the nades. So I like to run across this way. If they aggro on me, I can fight off this, like, cooler. If this door is open, a rogue probably opened it, so be careful of that. Uh, right here, Bitcoin spawn. You get med spawn there. You need to get out of this room and jump out this window as well, just so you know. And I'm always looking for the rogues, like, kind of hiding, because they do just kind of hide now sometimes, so... Just look for them. Not too scary. Look there, look there. Make sure this door's not open. Alright, cool, we're fine. So... Other than that... That's pretty much it. You check the Bitcoin. Something here. The white dot, and then look for... Skull ring. There we go. Pretty good loot so far. You get sugars up here. And we're gonna check for... The back gunner, see if he's up here. And I don't see him up here. I do recommend if you have a nade, you throw it. So that he's not going to yell. Or he's not going to, like, kill you for, uh, with a surprise. Because sometimes they'll, like, be hiding up there. And they'll get on the gun as I see you run by. And then they'll kill you. Like that. See? Now I know he's there. So I'm going to wait and see if he rotates up. If he doesn't rotate, I might just say, fuck it, and go. Normally, the route that I'd run is I'd run from here around this rock in a train station. Because I heard him. I'm going to go a little bit safer. I'll go on a wider angle so I can kill him. He gets on the gun. This is just like a little cautious. If I don't hear him or see him, I just assume they're not there. I go for the, the shorter route just to get out faster. Like, alt D lean out. He's on the gun now, right? So he would have died. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to lean out this way. See, so he's not shooting me. I can see his head though. I'm going to stand up, shoot, crouch. And dodge the shot. If you stand up, shoot, crouch, like literally just tap C, like that. You can loot the whole compound if you want to, but I don't like doing that if I have Northern because I feel like you can just do really fast runs and get out really fast and make good money. Most of the money comes from the rare spawns themselves, right? There's one last spawn I check, which is this rare spawn right here, and then if not, I'm gonna go leave the, towards Northern. I go through this warehouse to get the last rest spots pulled up. Put a little toolbox in here we can loot. It's free money if you don't, like, show up your slots, I guess, if you have slots open. 
was not bad to do so. There's industrial spawns here as well as there. We have SSD spawn on the table as well as jacket right here. And then if you come out the back of this door, you can see the back gunner of this warehouse right here. So if you don't want to die to him, just shoot him in the head. Cool. Now you can loot the whole warehouse or the whole area if you want to. I don't. There's industrial spawn here. There's industrial spawn right there. All right, now in here, there's double toolbox. So you loot this. You get, I don't know, we got tool set. We got M parts. We got a D battery. And then if you press tab and press F again, it's two toolboxes in one. So I get, you know, double loot. Industrial spawn here. Industrial spawn there. And then same thing with this toolbox. It's also a double stack toolbox. Check this. What do we have? We have AA battery. We have wires. We have duct tape. Check it again. And we have nothing in this one. But it's there. So that's six toolboxes you can just check, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm pretty much full. I can go hit my reset and go again. You get out with a ton of money. And you can just go again and go again and go again. And you're going to eventually get spawns where you don't have northern so you can just go loot the rest of the compound anyway so i feel like just take your dub whenever you get northern spawn just hit the reset go again but i always i do loot weed farm if i get the other spawn uh we do not have northern so our only options are the car extract if it's here and then if it's not here then we have to either wait for the train or leave through path of shoreline i never Wait for the train. Personally, I don't like doing it. I think it takes too long. If I don't, if I see the car is not here, I would just end up rotating back the way I came. You could also go through the rocks, but I feel like when I go through rocks, I'd have people camping them a lot, so I don't like going that way. Build that warehouse if you want to. I showed you that in the other part of the route. Uh, once you get to this part, right? This is again where the route like you make your decision. If you have northern, I usually just leave. It's faster. Reset. Go again. Like look at all the loot that we got from all these bear spawns. We got Bitcoin, Skull Ring two iridium, two cyclones, a roller. Like, it's really good loot. You just reset, go again. Uh, if there's a burst one in this box, you can always, I always hit this no matter what. Check for, like, ace or whatever. And then, you get a drug lag if you want to. I usually skip that just because player scouts hide in there and it's annoying. But, if you didn't want to leave for northern or you couldn't, you can end up looting warehouse too. There is a lot of good loot in there, but again, the longer you're in this compound, the more chance you have of dying. So, I don't see anyone in the back gun. I don't see anyone, like, really kind of on the roof. Check to see if the car is here. The car is here, so we're chilling. I'm gonna go over towards the right side. The roaming. That's a player, by the way. A human being. Let me get inside. The roaming pack doesn't let sit out here anymore. Where they sit now is in between warehouse two and three. So you're chilled right front of that side that I just did. Alright, now in this side, there's a couple weapons crates that you can loot. I don't ever loot that. There's an MGT spawn right where that hand drill is. And there's industrial spawn where, the hand, where that tool set is. Uh, I'm gonna go loot this first, see if I can, like, not die. Alright, so there's two tech crates in here. These are pretty worth looting, obviously. So you got the, uh, chance to get your, I don't know, mill filters and things like that. These were both kind of terrible, and they one item, but you can get stacked crates sometimes, a bunch of bolts. Hope this guy doesn't shoot me in the head when I key this. This is the water treatment plant storage room key, I believe it's called. In here, you have Intel spawn on the desk. Okay, that's there. Huge. You have toolbox. It's this key. Water treatment plant. Water treatment plant storage room key. That's the one yet. Uh, you have rare spawn on this box, rare spawn in the box, and rare spawn right where I'm looking. And then you have tech right here as well. So it's a very cracked room. A lot of options to make a lot of money here. So I need to fit this ace out. Uh, I dropped this tool set obviously, but I can't because for my daily. So I'm probably just gonna saw some motor just to make my life easier. That's more efficient to probably drop like this and these other things. Just drop the motor. A little bit lighter makes it easier to get out of here. All right, now that's all I loot of this part of the warehouses. I loot that back room there as well. The reason that I don't loot like the whole thing and I don't loot like the roofs and stuff is the longer you're in here the more chance you have of dying and like just doing faster runs where you live more often is just better it just is so 
yeah, then if you don't have the car, you could loot the warehouse and go back through this way. But I don't like going through the rocks. I feel like I died of campers all the time. So, it's up to you. Again, this is like an annoying situation where you just deal with. Like, if it's like a three-man, like, I'm just gonna die here. It's just gonna happen. Nothing I can do about that. Like, that's where you're making your money. Like, just keep cycling those spawns. You can make, like, quick, like, 500 to a million. And it took, like, less than 10 minute raid. Then go again. You secure that money and go again. You don't gotta grieve for a full backpack every time. And then this way, you can turn up to the car. Bring your money. Make sure you pay for it. Something you can do as well is you can pay for the car inside the bus right here. And then you could like, literally just prone and back up into the extraction. So I can just chill on the bus now. Just vibe it out. And then we got 6.2k XP. Not a lot of XP. We didn't kill that many rogues. We killed three rogues, two scavs. But yeah, that was a lot. And I mean a lot of loot. And then if you don't have the car, you gotta go all the way to the end of the world, so...